Woodlarks is a unique campsite for disabled people, run entirely by volunteers. With 12 acres of woodland and wide open spaces, hundreds of disabled campers and their helpers holiday here each year. The campsite allows disabled people, both young and old, some of whom can do little for themselves, the fun and friendship of camping. Sleeping in a tent and taking part in numerous outdoor activities are part of the adventure. Crossing barriers, fostering abilities and widening horizons. I've actually been coming to this site for 20 years. So, um, what's so special about it is the friendship um, and just having fun, really. You can't do a lot of the things we do elsewhere. Um, we've got youngsters away from their families for the week. Uh, they've got severe disabilities, some of them, that need a lot of care and attention, and we can provide for that. But the facilities we're using now were built a long time ago, you know, so it would be good to have some fresh facilities. On average week at Woodlarks, you know, apart from the personal care situation, just do our best to encourage the person we're paired up with to enjoy the place the best they can take part in all the fun activities, take part in the chores as well because a lot of these guys don't often get to do mundane things like even washing up or preparing the veg. It's just fun being with friends and doing all the activities like aerial runway, swimming, archery, campfire and lots of other we're down at a lake at Mitchett and we've just brought the guys down to have a go at water skiing because of the nature of their disabilities. All these guys, um, well probably most of the guys, won't have had a chance to do this at all before and I doubt they'll have a chance to do it again. Today I have been water skiing and I, you know, ever, ever dreamed about going water skiing. The freedom I felt sort of going along on the surface could be. From our point of view it's great to see the guys and girls enjoying something that um, really makes them grin from ear to ear. You know, it's the, the appreciation that they get from it really gives us a bit of a buzz as well. Woodlarks has been established for over 80 years and the facilities have been improved when funds have allowed. However, some of the facilities are now outdated, cramped and do not adequately cater for current needs. We've got a chance to use the pool today, which is fantastic because it gives the guys a lot of freedom. Some of the guys that we're tail bound, it, gives them the independence to move where they want to move. They're in control of their own bodies and they enjoy it all the more. Being out of your chair and being able to float is, is something that you and I can't actually imagine. It's, it's truly a vital part of what Woodlarks offers and to so many people it, it's uh, the main part of the holiday here. You can see the changing rooms were built many years ago and standards have changed. What was acceptable in the 60s is just not acceptable now. It is so cold, you know, and, and if you're relying on someone to actually get you changed and dry you off, you want to be somewhere comfortable. Woodlarks has recently provided new accommodation for those campers who need to sleep indoors with disabled friendly showering and welfare facilities. Now the priority is to rebuild the changing rooms at the swimming pool so that campers can shower and dress in warmth with up-to-date aids. To do this, Woodlarks needs to raise £300,000. If you are able to donate and support this project, it would be appreciated by very, very many people. If it was bigger and better, so many more people would be able to come and it would be, it would just get a lot more people involved. I have now been coming to various camps for 11 years. The people who attend make it very special. The volunteers give their time freely, otherwise it would be very difficult for me to attend. 
The camp is entirely funded by donations and we always need more. Come and help us because without your help we couldn't do it. It's good here, it really is. It's, it's wonderful to be human again, it really is.